Hey guys, it's day 27. We got three more days to go. I hope you guys are feeling amazing. Um, so today we're going to kind of slow it down from last yesterday. We're going to really focus on stretching to the side body, which is my favorite. Um, it's going to feel so, so good. I'm just so excited to start this class with you guys. All right, so we're just going to get started in this comfortable seated position. All right, so option one, obviously, you know, just like this. Option two, you could grab a block and place it underneath your sit bones. Option three, if you have half lotus in your practice, you're going to take half lotus, okay? So just kind of throwing it out there. This is actually my favorite um, seated position, so I'm going to take this, okay? So you're going to just go ahead and stack your shoulders over the hips. You're not leaning forward. You're not leaning back. Finding that neutral spine, so... Find that nice balance of not arching too much or flattening, okay? So no anterior or posterior tilt, finding neutral, okay? So just right in the middle, okay? So really focus on stretching the tailbone down towards the sit bones and scooping the navel in and up, okay? And then slightly drawing the front ribs in, but lifting up through your side waist. Yeah, all these micro movements, you're going to feel a huge difference in your posture, okay? Broadening through the collarbones, then relaxing your arms on top, your hands on top of your thighs. Good. Make sure both sit bones are rooted. Close your eyes and just take this moment to kind of roll the neck here. Especially if this is early morning for you guys, just waking up. Especially if you're a side sleeper, we tend to kind of sleep on one side more, creating a little bit of off balance, off symmetry. Good. And then just starting with the breath here, bring your chin back to center, slightly tuck it under, lengthening through the back of the neck, eyes closed, breathe in. Breathe out. Two more. Maybe set an intention for your practice. What is it that you're currently focusing on? It could be a word. It could be an object or a person. Good. Then on your inhale, you're going to gently blink your eyes open. Place your right fingertips next to your right side body. Then reach your left arm up and over. Okay, so I'm not bending this left arm. You're keeping it completely straight. Okay, so your left arm is actually active. But don't crunch that left shoulder up towards the ear. Okay, so you're dropping that left shoulder down energizing through the left fingertips, keeping your left arm straight. Good. And then leaning over to the right and press your left sit bone down. Good. Open the left shoulder. Inhale, center. And exhale, same thing on the other side. Bend through that left elbow as you take that side body stretch on the right side. Reach up as you find length. Inhale. And then as you exhale, you're finding depth. When you inhale, try to even find length through that left side body without crunching too much. Good. And then you're just going to kind of go back and forth, flowing with the breath here. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left. Inhale. Exhale, keeping both hips rooted. Inhale. And exhale, good. Come back to center. You're going to cross the opposite leg on top. Okay. Same leg variation, please. Hmm. I always kind of forget what sign I did. <laughs> Yeah, this always happens to me. All right. So you're going to re-stack your shoulders over hips. 
And then this time, you're going to replant your right fingertips next to your side. Reach that left arm up and over. Good. And then as you come back, you're going to keep this right arm where it's at. Then drop your left ear towards the left shoulder, left hand on top of right cheek. Okay? Good. Just holding for here for one more breath. Inhale. And exhale. Good. You're going to drop this left hand next to your left side. Reach your right arm up and over. Lean over to the left. Keep this left arm straight. Sit up tall. And drop this right ear towards right shoulder. Right hand on top of left ear. Chin away from the chest. Good. Do that a few times. Inhale, center. Exhale over to the right. Come back to center on your inhale and exhale. Next stretch on the right side. Good. Inhale, center. Drop that left hand. Reach your right arm up and over. Come back to center. Right ear towards right shoulder. Good. Come back to center. Go ahead and roll out the shoulders. All right. Release your legs and let's come back to, let's come into tabletop position. All right. So coming into all fours, wrist underneath the shoulders, knees underneath your hips. As you push your hands into the floor, lift your chest away from your thumbs, round your upper back for cat pose. Then from here, crunch your left side body like you're trying to squeeze the left hip into the left shoulder, okay? Lengthening through the right side of your body, okay? Good. Come back to center. Keep rounding your back. Squeeze the belly in. Crunch into the right side. Stretch into the left side body. Good. So this is kind of like a dog wagging his tail. Hips move side to side. Keep that right elbow slightly bent as you crunch into the right side. And just doing that a few more times. But I told you these feels feel amazing. Love my side body stretches. Good. All right. From here, come into downward facing dog. Keep your feet Hip width distance apart. As you inhale, you're going to lift your heels as high as you can. And as you exhale, you're going to drop the heels over to the left. Then press your hips up and draw your chest towards your thighs. So we did this a couple days ago, if you guys remember. Good. Pressing the hips over to the left a little bit to feel more into that right side body. Come back to center. And over to the right. Press your hips over to the right this time. Then lift the hips up. Push into both palms. Spine is long and lengthened. Good. Come back to center. And then walk your feet forward. Inhale halfway left. Lengthen your spine. Exhale, forward folds. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward folds. Inhale, mountain pose, Tadasana. Good. This time you're going to interlace your fingers above your head. Flip your palms to face up. And as you exhale, lean over to the right. Good. Both arms are straight, chest is open, chin away from the chest. Tuck your tailbone. Inhale, center. Exhale over to the left. Peel your right hip open slightly. Press the hip slightly forward. Inhale, center. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward folds. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your palms, step your left foot back, way back, OK? 
Okay, then drop your left knee once your right knee is over the right ankle. Inhale, crescent moon. Either layer one, right hand on top of right thigh. Squeeze the inner thighs in and stretch your left arm over to the right. Otherwise, can you drop that right hand all the way to the floor? You can also grab your block if it's nearby. Good. You're peeling your left shoulder back. Stretching all the way down into the IT band. But check in with that right knee. It wants to kind of go out. Remember, keep those hips stable as we worked on last yesterday. Squeezing the inner thighs in. Inhale, center. Exhale, forward folds. Plant your palms. Step your left foot forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step your right foot back, low lunge. Way back so that left knee is over the left ankle. Drop the right knee. Inhale, crescent moon. Good. Again, option one, left hand on top of thigh. Option two, left hand on the floor or your block. Hug the outer hips in. Keep the left knee pointing forward. Remember that right arm stays straight. It's not bent. Keep reaching up as you inhale. Exhale, lean towards the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Moving breath to movement. Inhale, mountain pose. This time, grab your left wrist and exhale, lean over to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, left foot back, low lunge. Drop your left knee. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, lean over to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, forward folds. If I'm going too fast, just go with your own pace, your own breath. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step your right foot back. Drop your knee. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, lean to the left. Keep that right shoulder open. Chest is lifted. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, half moon to your right. Lean to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, forward fall. Inhale, halfway lift. Listen for the change. Exhale, plant your palms, step your feet back into high plank. Good. From here, you're going to drop your knees. Pivot your left foot slightly out and step your right foot back. And make sure your left knee is in line with the right foot and left knee is in line with the left hand. Left wrist should be stacked directly over the shoulder. Reach your right arm up and over. And reach that right arm over your head. Find that hip extension by sliding the tailbone down towards the right heel. Push your hips forward. Good. Open that right shoulder. Good. Last inhale. And then exhale. Tabletop. Same thing on the other side. Pivot your right foot. Set that left foot back. Everything is aligned. Right hand. Right knee, left foot. Inhale, reach that left arm up and over your head. 
Again, open the chest, open the hips. Straight arms. Keep lifting the hips as you reach your left hand forward. Inhale. And exhale, tabletop. Good. Let's go ahead and take child's pose here. Big toes to touch. Knees apart. Stretch your arms forward. And breathe. Walk your arms all over to the left. Fold over the left thigh as best as you can. Stretch that right arm forward. Breathe into that right side body. Both hips are grounded if you can, especially through that right hip. Other side. Keep the left shoulder down. Keep rooting to that left sit bone. Come back to center. Inhale, tabletop. And then let's go ahead and lie down on our backs. Good. All right, you should feel already so much length into your torso. I'm sitting up nice and tall, feeling that openness into your spine. All right, friends, let's go ahead and take a nice gentle twist to end the practice. Right hand over the right leg. Inhale, squeeze in. And then exhale, cross your right knee over your body. Scoot your hips slightly towards the left or right. And then tee out your right arm. So in my personal practice, I always like to end my practice with a supine twist. If at any time I don't add a supine twist at the end, feel free to add it yourself. By now you should slowly start to get a little bit more comfortable with the poses. If you still have any questions, remember you could always email or comment below. Ask away. Come back to center. And the same thing on the other side. Come back to center and take your Shavasana. See you guys tomorrow. We're almost there. So, so proud of you guys. All right. Have a good one. Bye.